This is your Chet TV news update. I'm Mark Jones. Fort St. John RCMP advised that a man reported missing and the details mentioned yesterday on PCFM Regional News has been located after he turned up at hospital. The man was found to be safe and uninjured. RCMP thanked the public and the media for assisting in the matter. Yesterday's COVID-19 update in BC announced 716 new cases province-wide. The Northern Health Region had 42 of those cases. Sadly, province-wide, there were three new deaths announced related to COVID-19. On the vaccine front, there have been more than 582,000 doses of various COVID-19 vaccines administered in BC. Over 87,000 of those are second doses. Further details on Wednesday's COVID-19 update are available in the statement linked on the Peace FM radio Facebook page. Peace River South MLA and opposition critic for finance, Mike Bernier, joined me on the telephone yesterday and had some thoughts on the budget situation in BC under the NDP government. We have some finance bills on the floor and as the finance critic, uh, it's been keeping me here in Victoria. I've uh, been here for a month now. It looks like I'll be here in Victoria in Parliament now until probably the end of June, early July, it looks like, uh, as we uh, debate the finances of the province and the spending that the province plans on doing. So the biggest issue right now, though, Mark, that's come up and what's been filling my days here in the legislature in debates is what's called Bill 10. Now, the government, because they have delayed putting a budget forward, typically governments have a budget in by February, but the government here has not put a budget forward, but fiscal year end is next week. So now they're in panic mode because without a budget, uh, they have to figure out how to continue paying the bills of the province. So they've come forward and asked for another $13.5 billion to bridge them for the next three months without any plan or any idea of where that money is going to be spent. So you can imagine that raises a lot of hairs on the, on the back of the neck, and we have a lot of questions to ask. Why would they not bring forward a budget? Typically, and when I say typically, always, uh, budgets have been presented in February. And then we get to see what the government's plans are and look at their spending uh, ideas and then, you know, agree or disagree on certain points and, and have those debates in the House. But because there was an election called, it's delayed everything now by a couple of months. And so government has had to come in and change the laws to say, a budget will not be presented in February. We need two months now before we present a budget. And they had to change the law of the province in order to do that. And now they found themselves, as we warned, in a real tough situation. And now they're realizing, uh-oh, we don't have any money starting April 1st to pay the bills unless we uh, ask for another $13 billion. Of course, we're going to scrutinize it, but we're also going to allow the government to continue keeping the lights on. Uh, there's no fear there. Once again, the NDP are just asking for money, asking for a blank check, no plan on where that money will be spent, no accountability or transparency. That's what I have a problem with. If you see breaking news, you can contact the Peace FM Radio Newsroom 24 hours a day by email or phone. Email is news at peacefm.ca. Phone is 1-800-788-5330. That was your Thursday, March 25th, Chet TV News Update. From the Peace FM News Desk, I'm Mark Jones.